All right, everyone, after four tries, four times failing, I just passed my L1 today. <laughs> Dude, I am super, super, super excited, like for real. Man, it's been a roller coaster. Well, really, it's been a roller coaster going down until today. It's like all the way up. Let me tell you, this feels amazing. This was one of the hardest tests I've ever done in my life. I am uh, an AC master tech, right? So I got all the, all the normal A's. Uh, college graduate, you know, I went to college and stuff like that. I'm an army avionics guy. I've done a lot of tests everywhere, you know, through school. And this is the hardest test I've ever taken. I failed it four times. And um, in some of those days when I came out, I was so mad at myself. But today we passed and I'm pumped up. And my goal is to tell you guys, it's super exciting to really uh, win at something or pass something after putting in so much work. So my goal is, if you know me, if you don't know me, my name is David. I'm with Drivers Therapy, the YouTube channel. I'm an AC certified master tech and I pride myself in having the best study guide or directional videos to pass your AC test. In conjunction to that, we also put together our own courses that you could buy on our website and people have appreciated both the videos on YouTube that are for free and the ones that you could buy. But today, we're going to tell you how I passed the L1, some advice and to really break it down and just tear down that curtain of vagueness or scariness that the L1 comes with. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so let me tell you right away what I use to study. First off, the MotorAge L1 Advanced Engine Performance Study Guide Book. This is awesome. This is very good. I also got the Delmar uh, Advanced Study Guide. This is good, but I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Better, but you're going to need both. So really, they're just both needed. And the ASC, official ASC L1 practice test, all right? Once you get those three, you have to get those three. There's no, oh, I don't wanna spend my money, you have to. I'm not sponsored by any of these guys. I just want you to pass, right? Think about it, I failed four times, it's about 100 bucks, that's 400 bucks I spent. But it's okay because passing is worth a million bucks to me because I am so proud of myself. So, now that we know what you have to get, what else do you need? Well, you're gonna need to either be really experienced in understanding schematics and troubleshooting or find a friend who is. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm gonna call him a friend, but he's, he's my father-in-law, but I have a lot of respect for him. He was an electrical engineer and he helped me uh, figure out some of the questions I, keep, I kept getting wrong and he broke it down for me and we'll talk further about that here in a minute. So what did I do? Well guys, this is gonna sound crazy, but in the L1 Motor Rage book, they have about a, let me tell you real quickly, about almost a 50 page kind of study material about everything that's, or close to everything that's gonna be in the test. Guess what you have to do? You have to read every single page in this book. As a matter of fact, I have ADHD or whatever it's called. I have a hard time reading. It's just always who I've been. So what I had to do is in front of my wife, Elise, I would read three pages out loud to her while she sat at the couch. It helped me kind of learn how to talk a little better for videos, but also it forced me to read it. And it took me weeks to finish it because I would just read two to three pages at a time, sometimes one page because it was that hard. But once you finish reading it and actually digesting that information, it's gonna be invaluable. Then you're gonna have the questions and the test on this. You're gonna wanna take the test, you're gonna wanna take take it multiple times and whatever you get wrong, you're gonna wanna write it down, you're gonna wanna know those areas that you got wrong. With the Delmar book, guys, to me, it's a uh, big practice test book. Do it, do all the practice tests. There is a handful of errors in here and I might do a video showing those depending on if I have time or not, but there's a few questions that you're gonna be like, what's going on here? And they're legitimately, small little errors, but it's okay because the rest of the book is very helpful. It's very good. And you're going to know, it's going to be like, I think one of them talks about that the exhaust inlet 
is supposed to be uh, hotter versus colder after the catalytic converter and it's got it backwards or whatever. It's not a big deal. And like I said, guys, anything you can get your hands on, I mean, and this is a great book. So you you can't go wrong with doing any of this. So after you're doing all of that, you're gonna start running into some questions or you're gonna start running into some schematics. If you know how to read schematics, awesomeness. If you don't know how relays and how solenoids and how voltage drops work, you're gonna really wanna get really well versed because this L1 test does not hold back. It is written by people who wanna make sure that you are truly knowledgeable in this area. This isn't a test where they're like, yeah, we don't mind if you pass it. They legitimately wrote it very intelligently and they wrote it where if you don't pay attention to small details, you will get things completely wrong. All right. So once you do all that, let's say, let's do some hypotheticals. Let's say you got 15 questions wrong here and you find out that they're all in the EVAP area or the emissions area, or they're in, some of them are the schematic questions like troubleshooting. Then essentially what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to do a deep dive in those areas. You're gonna wanna learn everything about the EVAP system. You're gonna wanna digest all the reading material on this. You're gonna wanna go ahead and go on YouTube and you're gonna wanna digest all the videos you can about the EVAP. You're gonna wanna see smoke test done, you're gonna to wanna to see how all of it works. But the reason why this is an advanced test is because you don't just wanna know theory. You wanna know how every component operates. You wanna know how a good solenoid operates or when a solenoid is shorted or if it's open or if it's energized or if it's grounded. This is a serious test. So I made an L1 video when I first failed it. And it's a good video to watch because it breaks down everything that I think you need to look at. But now that I've passed it, I'm gonna tell you guys, you need to buy these books and then you need to read them, read this one front to back, but not just read it like you're in a rush, like actually digest it. You wanna take the test and whatever questions you get wrong, you wanna digest. If you are not, if you're getting caught up with different uh, uh, errors or confusion with schematics or troubleshooting with the digital multimeter or understanding how firing lines look or scopes or digital scoping of a firing line or anything like that, you're gonna wanna dive deep into it. You're actually gonna wanna take the initiative and maybe go to a friend who has that uh, equipment and actually work that equipment with them. This is one of those tests that Honestly, I could see why AC considers it advanced because like you have to be a hardcore technician who really knows their stuff to pass this test. So guys, at this point in time, I'm gonna recommend what I have here, but if you get stuck, let me know. Watch my first video about the L1, listen to my instructions about the materials here, and also reach out to people who have done the certain tests or have that equipment that you need. You're gonna have to take that initiative. This isn't one of those tests where you can watch a YouTube video and pass. You're actually gonna have to take the initiative to get some help in the areas that you're not good at. Without that, you're not gonna pass. You really have to really know this information. Well guys, I'm super excited. Thank you for watching. Again, check our, our website, Drivers Therapy. If you are barely starting off your AAC Master Tech test, we have paid courses there, but I also recommend you guys to watch all our free courses there because people have been passing their AAC tests with our free courses. The people who are having a little bit of trouble have gotten our paid courses to help them kind of extra tutoring, extra help. But either way, all of it's good because it's like the cost of a coffee. And not only that, if you pass your test, you get promoted or if you feel awesome about yourself, the best thing we could do in our industry is buy somebody a beer or some coffee, right? All right, guys, thanks for watching. You take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.